view of controlled atmosphere storage. Fruits and vegetables are living, breathing organisms that mature and die within a few days at temperatures above 4 degrees Celsius. Thus, a process was developed to extend the life of high-quality fruits and vegetables. Fruits and vegetables breathe much like humans. In a process called respiration, the produce consumes oxygen from the surrounding air and gives off carbon dioxide along with water vapor and some heat. By lowering the amount of oxygen in a sealed enclosure, the rate of respiration of the produce can be retarded. Thus, the produce is held in a state of suspended animation. Each type of fruit or vegetable requires a specific amount of oxygen and carbon dioxide that will keep it in suspension. Controlled atmosphere storage involves maintaining an atmospheric composition that is different from air composition. The air we breathe contains about 21% oxygen and 0.03% carbon dioxide. In a controlled atmosphere storage, oxygen content is kept below 8% and carbon dioxide above 1%. A nitrogen generator is used to achieve pull-down of oxygen content. Controlled atmosphere storage cannot improve produce quality. It only ensures that the produce will retain most of its original quality while in storage. Three factors govern quality storage. Tightly sealed room, well-engineered refrigeration system and Atmosphere Generator Equipment used in a controlled atmosphere storage Let us now take a look at the various equipment and other components that make up a controlled atmosphere storage facility. Gas tight cool cells A gas tight cool cell is made up of thermal structural barriers like insulating wall, ceiling, floor, doors, air curtains and gas tight insulation panels. A controlled atmosphere cool cell is closed with a gas tight door and a window is fitted into the door, the corridor or the roof of the cool cell. Refrigeration equipment, temperature control systems. The main way of preserving fruits and vegetables is by refrigeration. Standard refrigeration units like evaporators or air handlers and compressors or condensers are therefore integral components of controlled atmosphere stores. Oxygen scrubbers or nitrogen generators With a controlled atmosphere scrubber, also known as a nitrogen generator or separator, the fruit can be quickly brought under controlled atmospheric conditions once the space has been filled. Carbon dioxide scrubbers Carbon dioxide scrubbers are used to manage the carbon dioxide levels in the cool cell. Air from the storage area is removed by the scrubber and the carbon dioxide purifier air is then fed back in. Ethylene converters or ethylene scrubbers Fruit varieties that are sensitive to ethylene under controlled atmosphere conditions such as kiwis require an ethylene converter. The ethylene converter removes ethylene from the cool cells using catalytic combustion. Ethylene can thus be maintained at any required level. Control system. A control system measures and registers oxygen and carbon dioxide and operates the carbon dioxide and oxygen scrubbers. In addition, the same control system can regulate cooling, switching on, off, defrosting, and machine room regulation, carry out ethylene measurements and operate the ethylene converter. Humidifiers Fruit that is stored in a controlled atmosphere cell always loses moisture. This moisture loss reduces if the RH levels are kept above 90%. Cooling takes water out of the atmosphere, thus limiting the storage period and quality. A humidification system means that relative humidity can be kept up to scratch. 
handling and storage components. These include forklifts, pallet lifts, conveyor, etc. These are used for loading and unloading of the produce while receiving or dispatching. Roles and Responsibilities of Controlled Atmosphere Storage Technician Let us now take a look at the roles and responsibilities of Controlled Atmosphere Storage Technician. Handle the produce from post harvest storage to CA storage. Receiving the produce. Arrange for the produce to be unloaded from the transport vehicle at the receiving dock. Assess the quality of the produce. Ensure the produce is sound and free from dirt, debris, foreign matters, glass and insects. Check the quality of the produce to be stored by checking the physical parameters like appearance, color, maturity, ripeness, etc. Set the storage parameters. Check the storage parameters chart for control parameters range for each type of produce. Pre-cool the storage facility by setting the refrigeration system to suitable temperature as per specifications. Set the ambient temperature, pressure, relative humidity, controlled atmosphere in the storage unit. Load the storage unit. Arrange the produce to be loaded in the order of species, variety, geographical location, grown area, etc. Monitor and maintain storage parameters. Monitor the storage parameters at regular intervals. Maintain hygiene and sanitation. Adopt safety and sanitation related measures. Follow food safety norms and practices. Let us now summarize the roles and responsibilities of controlled atmosphere storage technician.